Welcome back to Old War Stories with Uncle Jay. This one is entitled, Let Me Find Out. Back in my day at Tiny Middle, when I was in sales, this would put this... 2004, 2005. I'm not really sure of the date. Maybe as late as 2006. I was in sales, and I was in the peripherals department. Say it with me, everyone. Peripherals. Not peripherals. Peripherals. And we sold hard drives, sound cards, video cards, motherboards, CPU coolers, uh, CD-ROM, DVD burners, components for a computer in that department, as well as networking and some other stuff also. Digital cameras, printers, all that kind of peripheral type stuff. Okay, well, we got a new sales associate, and his name was Candy. C-A-N-D-Y? No, 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 no. K-A-N-D-I. Candy. <laughs> Candy wore a dark blouse. Kind of a fat guy. Reminded me of fucking Fat Albert. Swear to God. Reminded me of Fat Albert. And his catchphrase, like Jimmy J.J. Walker, Dino Might, his catchphrase was, let me find out. One day, he comes in, and we told him, hey, we got a TV in the break room. He said, really? Oh. Oh, and he also would say, oh, oh, goodness gracious, goodness gracious. That was another tagline of his. And I remember sitting in the break room the first day that he was in that he saw the TV. Because, yeah, for a long time, we didn't even have a TV in the break room. Yeah, true story. Anyway... We come in, he comes in, I'm sitting in the break room, the TV's on, I'm not even watching it. And he comes in and he sees the TV up on top of the soda machine, and he goes, Ho oh, oh, ho, let me find out. And he did this thing with his hand and his mouth. He goes, let me find out. I don't know what it was. It was like a mush mouth kind of type deal with the fat Albert going on. So anyway, that was that. Anyways. <laughs> He'd always say, let me find out, let me find out. Then that brings us to another time during his stint there where we looked up, I had looked up in the system and I had found his name. We never asked him, what is Candy short for? But somehow I looked up in the system and I was able to find it. His real name was Kana Yochukwu Last name, Anwuama. One of these African names. Okay. Kana Yochukwu. And I remember this other kid who I worked with. He said, Candy? Kana Yochukwu is candy? Why not just Chuck? <laughs> Wouldn't that have made more sense? <laughs> but his mother always called him Candy, so it was Candy. K-A-N-D-I. Well, Candy found a way to beat the system. It was now Christmas time, one of these years. I think the ATI Radeon 9800 Pro AGP graphics card was like the latest and greatest card. I could have the number wrong. I don't really remember. It's been too many years and too many beers. Uh, I mean iced teas. Um, but uh, it, it's been a long time. I, I don't remember anymore. But I think it was something like that as, like, the latest and greatest video card. And it had all these, like, mega flops and texels and video card gamer type shits and things and whatever. All right. So we got an employee discount because we worked there. So he had an enterprising idea. And he would have gotten away with this easily if he wasn't stupid. So what he would do is the card went for, let's say, 
three ninety nine ninety nine, and we would get it for three twenty. So there's an eighty dollar difference. So what he would do is he would buy these cards two three at a clip, take them home, leave them in the shrink wrap, never even opened, and resell them on eBay, and he would sell them for. Three ninety nine or maybe three seventy nine. Give somebody like twenty bucks off. He makes a fast sixty bucks, and there you go. And he did this time and time and time again. But like I said, he was stupid because he went to check to see on his eBay account what auctions had ended, and if people had bid on them or did a buy it now or whatever it was see what was sold and he'd always say uh, at lunchtime oh where are you going for lunch candy oh I gotta go to the post office I gotta go to the post office I gotta go to the post office yeah because he was shipping these video cards out so we found out because he left we we <laughs> found out because he had left the window open or if he didn't he signed himself in and left himself you know keep me signed in so if I went to eBay I could see his stuff and I wouldn't need a password at least back in these days to check on his his auctions that had ended and what he needs to ship out and you can click on the item and see the auction he would take pictures of the item which included the serial number so then we took the serial number that we saw in the picture punched it in the system because these were serialized products. That means that when he bought them, they would scan the serial numbers so we knew what, you know, which one was sold. And the serial numbers matched up. And then we saw that he was selling them at a discount on eBay, and he was canned. <laughs> Candy was canned. <laughs> that was fun. All for being dumb. Cover your tracks or just don't look at it at work. And maybe he could have checked it on his phone. I think this was kind of early for the days of um, eBay apps and unlimited data. And we didn't even have Wi-Fi in the store or anything at the time. So it was a matter of basically not covering his tracks. Got him fired. And that was good. And one other little tidbit. When I found out that his name was Kaneo Chukwu. Some other guy worked with Ed. Ed is a story in and of itself. Ed was an older white Jewish guy. Late 50s. Mid 50s. Something like that. Married. Divorced. Has a kid who he sees on the weekend. Kind of guy. Ed was fucking crazy. And I remember saying to Ed, Oh, we found out Candy's name. He's like, Oh yeah? What is it? I said, here, come here. I want you to read it. And I took him to the system and I looked it up. And he looked at that. And he had glasses and that. And he read it. And he says, get the fuck out of here. And he walked away. Because <laughs> Ed, you know, you'd think Ed is just Edward. No, it was actually Edwin. Edwin. But, you know, there's Dwards and Dwins and things and stuff and forward, backward, Edward, those type things. But anyway, Ed said, get the fuck out of here, and walked away. So that was the story of Candy. Yep, he should have been caned for what he did. Ha, bad joke. <laughs> okay, enough of the bad jokes. The fire alarms are going off, and that tells me I stopped being funny. So before all the fire alarm and siren twerps get on here, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like. Yes, I hear the siren. Make sure you click subscribe. Hey, there's a siren in the background. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, there's a siren in the background. That's a federal signal something. Bye-bye.